is your home quarters and today's episode of Blockbuster, we are checking out one per bank. Stay tuned to the very end where we check out one of the most iconic buildings in Singapore, both in the past and also in the future and what the one, two and three bedroom look like. Let's check it out. Before you head into the show, Gary Proper, for all your YouTube audience out there, do remember to subscribe to our channel and of course, go ahead to our website, homequarters.com.sg for more videos and more content such as this. So with that, welcome to One Pearl Bank. So where exactly is One Pearl Bank? As the name suggests, this is the address itself, One Pearl Bank. We are in the intersection of Outram Road and also Pearl Bank. So that's why it has the address of the One Pearl Bank. We are standing on a site area of about 82,000 square feet. It is an on-block sale that is given and bought over by the developer. We are in District 3, 99 years lease sold from 2019 and we are expecting to TOP at about 2024. We have two residential blocks of 39 storey each, 774 units units in total, we have 620 car park slot with four basement parking level down here. A little bit of fun facts here about One Per Bank is former life is called Per Bank Apartment and when it's first built up in 1970s, it is one of the tallest buildings here in Singapore with the iconic structure of a kind of a circular building feature and when the developer bought it on block in around 2017-2018 period, he chose to retain this such feature and choose to actually have it retain the architectural a feature of the rounded apartment and so becoming one per bank today. One per bank itself offers a studio, one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom, four bedroom and also penthouse unit type. It is also interesting to note that even on the second story, you are actually elevated well above about four to five story each and remember, we are on a hill so even on the second floor, you are able to enjoy the unblocked view that the entire Outram Chinatown region have to offer for you. Coming back here on the entrance itself, I do like that they have a grand entrance drop-off area that allow you to go into the four-story or basement car park parking lot as you come in here there's a lot of ingress and egress towards the Chinatown area and People's Park Food Center coming over on this front we also have a covered pedestrian park crossing all the way towards the Outram Park MRT station so if let's say you have tenant or yourself that do not drive or do not want to drive on that particular day a bit rain or shine you are able to access to the Outram Park MRT station coming over over on this front, I do like that One Per Bank itself focuses itself a lot on nature, a lot of uh, greenery as well. So you can see that eco pond here. I also do like that landscaping not just happening on level one itself and all throughout the entire building itself. We have vertical gardens per se, slot around four story each for you to enjoy uh, right here. Talking about facilities wise, most of the swimming facilities on level one, you can see that we have a lab pool, we have a children pool and a few other outdoor pavilion for you to enjoy barbecue. We also have a function room that overlooks the entire swimming pool area. So if you have function catering and guests coming over, you can actually book the function room. So on this side of the building itself, we have a playground that's inspired a lot from the wooden deckings, the wooden feature of the surrounding. And also more interestingly, we have a pets park over at the corner right there. All right, so facility not just exists on level one, we also have facility deck on level 14, 18, and also on the top. Top floor. Let's talk about level 14 first. Generally, it is a chill out area for you to enjoy, do your yoga, enjoy the meditation, just lounge around, just chatting with guests, friends, family, and also overlooking the entire view that the region have to offer. Let's jump over to level 18 now. Here we are at level 18, a more so of a dining and entertainment deck area. We have outdoor dining, al fresco. You can do it over on this side. Lounge area and also open amphitheater. And if you want to have some games of a pool and also table soccer, you can actually enjoy it with guests, friends and family on level 18. Let's jump over to the top floor. All right, so here we are at the top floor. One of the distinct features here is the sky bridge that actually connect both the two residential blocks together. We have two sky bridge with the gym here. If let's say you're working out a sweat, you can still enjoy the full unblocked view that the entire downtown Outram and Chinatown have to over. And over on the other side, we have a function room also enabling you to enjoy the view while hosting your guests, friends and family over. 
Another interesting feature here at One Pearl Bank is that we have a crystal lift so that when you are taking the lift either up or down, you are able to enjoy the entire view of this entire region here. So that's it for the site plan, site model tour of One Pearl Bank. All right, talking about amenities around One Pearl Bank, we are within 1km to Cantonment Primary School, within 1 to 2km from River Valley Primary School. So surrounding, we have a few secondary school and tertiary education here as well. Talking about transport system, we are of course covered all the way to Outram Park MRT Station, which is going to be a triple kind of interchange which are also, with this line, about two to three stops away from Central Business District, like Tanjong Paga, like City Hall, Raffles Place, and Dobie Gods, and the likes. If you are working in the Central Business District, I think taking a car will take longer as opposed to the private transport, or even just riding the bicycle down there. Talking about a tenant pool-wise, walking over on this side, you can see the SGH campus is going to be expanded and going to attract more expats to come into the work. So if you are buying it to rent out, or if you are buying it to have or work in the the SGH campus, you are in luck here because it's really near to one per bank over on the other side because we are really just right downtown, we're in the center of the city. So if you are planning to rent it out, a tenant will definitely be coming from the central business district area, like I mentioned, City Hall, Dobie God, Raffles Place and the like. So I think the take up rate for tenant will be really, really high here for one per bank. And as HFC Street will repeat itself, what per bank apartment usually have the takeout rate of very, very fast and also turnover, which is very, very low. If you're buying it for own sale, of course, in the neighborhood itself, we are at Chinatown region. We are a mix of the heritage culture, old, and also one per bank, which is new. So you can enjoy a brand new facility, brand new apartment, while having the convenience of staying inside a mature estate such as Chinatown and nearby to Tiong Bahru and the likes as well. Talking about developer capital land, they are no stranger to developing iconic building, including Dilliden at the Fair Road area, Interlace at the Port Road area, and of course Sky Habitat at the Bishan area. So the next one is gonna be one per bank here at One Pearl Bank. So if you're keen on One Pearl Bank or any other new launch development here in Singapore, do give us a call at 8809 My name is Casey from Home Quarters. All right, so welcome to the one bedroom, 570 square feet here at One Pearl Bank. As you come in here, this is a distinct, interesting feature that I want to check out with you. We have a smart mirror on here. So if you let someone ring your bell, actually their face will actually appear here. You can also read, you know, Google News and Reminder, and this work as a clock here as well. So this is usually reserved for bigger units in luxury development for One Pearl Bank. Actually, they start off with one bedder, also have this distinct feature, and also follow across to the studio, the two bedroom, three bedroom, four bedroom, and the penthouse itself. I do like that this one bedroom feature is that we have a very interesting kitchen area concept. The sink is beautifully done. We got a good size countertop space here. In addition, this table is not interior design. This is actually provided for you. And with a little bit space here, if you want to expand out your dining area to this space, you could as well. Alternatively, over on the other side, if you want to expand your dining table to this side, you could do so as well. So depending how you want to structure it, this side can actually change up to become a study area instead of the dining area here. So I do like that you still have a quite a good size of living area. Of course, you got a beautiful view right outside the balcony space. And what's most interesting here is actually the bedroom space area here. Still a very, very good size here. With about 2.8 meter wall ceiling. After putting in a queen size bed, you can still put your bedside table. And I do like that instead of putting a cement down on the bottom side of the glass window, we have a translucent glass window screen here. So enabling the day to have more light and of course after you opening up all the window that breeze to come into your space naturally so with this enjoy the rest of the home tour here at the one bedroom at one per bank to the two bed one bath here at one per bank 700 square feet one of the point that i do like about this unit is that we have a c-shaped kind of kitchen here so it's tucked on one side so it's not awkwardly placed in the middle of the unit of course we got a good size countertop space you have your washer dryer right down below you have a lot of storage on the top 
and bottom cabinet space. And in here, we have a good interesting nook area just beside the dining space that is already provided for you by the developer. So if let's say you are doing it, you can like copy what the developer has done and put in some wine, alcohol in here. Alternatively, you can actually put in your coffee maker poster right on this space as well. So we'll check out the second interesting feature here at the two bedroom is actually this balcony space. Why I say that it is interesting is that it actually expand out all the way towards about half or three quarter of the master bedroom space. And interestingly, we have an electrical point here and also a water point here, enabling you to actually grow your own plant here and change the view of your own master bedroom space. So the third interesting point about this two bedder is at the master bedroom space. Why do I say this is that we have a wardrobe that is actually built into the wall itself. So enabling the entire room to be really squarish for you to do your interior design. So putting in a king size bed, you are still able to put in a dressing table from where I am standing here. So like I mentioned on the glass window here itself, you are able to change up the view as you deem fit. If you like greenery view, you can put in some greenery. If you like flowers, you can do it here as well. If you want to have even a fountain outside, you can do so at your own interest, taste and preference. the three bedroom 1098 square feet not forgetting we have a smart mirror on this side coming into this space i do like that there's a separation between the dining area and also the living area which is wider than usual coming over in here i especially like the balcony space first time we can enjoy the beautiful view that one per bank have to offer and we are having a kind of wide balcony space area which you are able to do planter on this side alternatively because we are on a covered balcony space area and having the water tap on here we can actually have your washer and dryer put out at the balcony space and if you want to erect hanging rack down here or even putting in your standing hanging rack to do all your laundry needs at the balcony space itself. Coming back into the unit, we have a open sort of kitchen on here. Very modern, very luxurious, very contemporary, and also like that it have a utility room and WC at the back, which can be converted into a stay-in helper room if you do have one. Coming over to the living quarter side, we have two common bedroom that is similar size, can put in a queen size bed, bedside table, of course, flooring, AC, wardrobe has been done out for you by the developer. But these two bedrooms share this bathroom, which is kind of like spa bath inspired. So every day you are able to enjoy spa quality bath in both the master and also the common bathroom space. Coming over in here, of course, the crown jewel of this space is definitely the master bedroom. And because of the architectural space of one per bank it is kind of like fan out shape the master bedroom is actually generally bigger than most master bedroom out there in the new launch space and we see here is that after putting in a king size bed bed side table in here we have enough space to put in a dresser or even a study area right inside the master bedroom space itself and of course like i mentioned just behind you we have the spa quality master bathroom and of course we got a full length mirror to enjoy the entire Outram and chinatown region have to offer in terms of the day view and also evening view right here so with that enjoy the rest of the home tour for the three bedroom here at one per bank
Alright, so that's it for our Blockbuster series featuring one per bank. So go ahead to show us some more support if you like content such as this or like to view more home tours such as this. Go ahead to our website homequarters.com.sg our Facebook, Instagram, YouTube at homequarters.sg. My name is Casey from Home Quarters and remember, call Home Quarters and start packing. Remember to subscribe to our channel one more time. And I do like that even... Uh, iron, okay. And <laughs>